Polytechnic University of Madrid, founded in 1971, gathers in its 19 centers, some of them two centuries old, all the engineering degrees which can be studied in Spain, and also the architecture and computer science degrees. According to its qualified teaching staff, installations, and student registration, it was the first polytechnic university in Spain and is one of the most important in Europe. Its aims are high-quality teaching and extensive research able to improve constantly the development of the social and economic conditions of the country. Spanish society participates in the university by means of the social council, as decreed in the university reforms law. The Polytechnic University of Madrid currently has nine superior technical schools, one computer science school, and nine university schools, plus several associated centers under her control, with a total of more than 3,000 professors and around 2,000 persons for technical and management support. The university's growth has spread the centers among urban Madrid, the university city, and the Arboleda and Montegancedo campuses. Spanish students can enter the Superior Technical Schools and the Computer Science School after passing CO or the University Guidance Course and the Aptitude Test, but this is not necessary to enter the University Schools. Foreign students with similar studies can pass the Aptitude Test in the Spanish Diplomatic Representations in their country, and can also ask for partial convalidation of subjects in prior University studies, or for a doctoral degree, or a degree homologation and can even ask for admission through an appointment with the university rector. In the same way, for those who need it, a scholarship and student study support system also exists. This university grants, generally, the following degrees. For those students passing the first study cycle, graduate, technical architect, and technical engineer. For those passing the second study cycle, university graduate, architect, and engineer. A doctoral degree is granted to those passing the third study cycle. In accordance with her autonomous nature, the Polytechnic University of Madrid grants its own diplomas and degrees. The same is true with specialization and postgraduate courses. One of the main educational centers at the Polytechnic University of Madrid is the Advanced Technical School of Mining Engineering. Mining is the productive activity with the longest tradition, reaching back to its origins in prehistoric times. It began to develop as a modern technology, based on science, in the late 17th century, when the experimental sciences gave their first fruit, and mining became the platform for the rest of the branches of engineering known today. This tradition is represented in the building that houses the Mining School of Madrid, which was constructed in 1893 under the regency of Maria Cristina Habsburg Lorena and was recently declared a historic and artistic monument, as well as in the valuable artifacts of its glorious past that are housed in its museums and libraries. Likewise, the magnificent ceramic murals on its facades, the sculptures that adorn the main entrance, and its splendid towers also remind us of the close links that have joined man and the Earth's mineral resources throughout time. The historic library at the mining school is one of the most valuable in Spain in the scientific field, holding more than 8,000 volumes, some of which were published in the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries. It possesses such rare books as the first editions of Isaac Newton's Principia and Georges Agricola's De Re Metallica, or the complete works of Saint Isidoro of Seville, all of which were written in Latin. The Museum of Minerals and Fossils, which also dates back to 1893, is a jewel of geological knowledge. It has been enriched with archaeological artifacts that make it one of the most important museums of its kind in Spain. We are honored to say that the 165 graduating classes that have passed through the school have contributed enthusiastically to its development. An especially significant place in the mining school is its beautiful and sober cloister. 
Its entrance hall is joined to the building's main entrance by a magnificent marble staircase and is adorned by ceramic tiles painted by the famous Thuluaga brothers. Geological resources, materials for both energy and structures, have been, are, and will continue to be the basic pillar of social welfare. And the mining engineer should continue to contribute the most advanced technology toward the exploitation and enjoyment of those resources. The demand for these resources is evolving toward new and sophisticated ways to extract them and toward more efficiency in their use, given their increasing scarcity and the greatest respect toward the natural world that provides them. For that reason, their prospection, exploitation, and primary transformation require the most advanced technologies in order to satisfy that demand. With the maximum respect towards its historical and scientific roots, the mining school has gradually renovated and modernized its teaching facilities, adapting them to the needs of the times. Proof of this is its specialized laboratories. Its computer rooms. Its audiovisual rooms. And the Gomez Pardo Foundation, among others. In its three official laboratories, the Madariaga Laboratory, the Construction Materials Testing Laboratory, and the Petroleum Laboratory, the school puts its human and material resources at the service of the mining and industrial sectors in collaboration with Spain's Ministry of Industry and Energy in the fields of machinery and equipment, construction materials and petroleum products. In the school's audiovisual and computer rooms and in its mathematics center and language laboratories, the student learns to apply modern techniques to acquire and transmit scientific and technical knowledge, both during his training and during his future professional career. The Gómez Pardo Foundation, which is associated with the school, helps through its organization, facilities, conference halls, meeting rooms, and other contributions to spread knowledge of and bring graduates up to date with the advances in geological resources and related fields covered by the mining school. Likewise, the foundation's residence hall helps students to be able to achieve their degree. For the students' practical classes, the mining school has gradually set up modern laboratories, some of them dedicated to specific areas of study, for example, electronics, chemistry, physics applied to natural resources, rock mechanics, materials testing, and so on. Likewise, the school has created modern central laboratories to provide multidisciplinary testing among all the departments, such as X-rays, electron microscopy, microprobes, and others. In addition, the school has specialized documentation centers, such as the Jose Maria Rios Fund, regarding geological topics. The mining engineer has always worked in a wide variety of related fields, not just in the matter of geological resources. Fields which at one time were specific, but which today overlap with other fields, some of which have broken off from their original areas of expertise. The mining engineer is the main specialist in large movements of earth and stone, both underground and on the surface, achieving this task with explosive techniques and with the best machinery available on the market. The mining engineer transforms mineral resources, both energy and non-energy resources, managing the exploitation of metal and cement production plants, thermal power plants, and oil refineries. He manages the deposition and storage of mineral and energy wastes, soil and subsoil restoration projects, soil regeneration projects, and the exploitation of metal recycling plants. All these activities mean that mining engineering must be taught in a basically general way, which gives the professional rapid and efficient access to the corresponding technology. For that reason, 
The school has structured its educational program in two cycles and four areas of in-depth studies. The first cycle is basic in nature, covering classes in exact physical and natural sciences, mainly geological studies, while the second cycle is oriented towards the application of parallel technologies to these sciences. The in-depth studies are in the fields of energy, geology, metallurgy, and mine exploitation. But in addition, the mining engineer should be a practical person who is able to combine scientific knowledge with its applications, developing his capacity for experimentation and fieldwork from his university days. To that end, the school's program of studies incorporates practical internships in companies to be carried out during the last two school years, as well as numerous laboratory exercises and field projects. The relationship with the corporate world is very important, and for that reason there is an advisory council that includes Spanish energy and mining companies, and there are cooperation agreements such as the Repsol Chair in Petroleum and Natural Gas Studies. The Advanced Technical School of Mining Engineering maintains a close relationship of cooperation with the most important and prestigious educational centers in its specialty in the Western world, with which it has established exchange programs for students and faculty. Some of the more notable of these institutions are the Paris Mining School, the French Petroleum Institute, and American Mining Schools in Colorado and South Carolina. Likewise, through the AISMIN, the Madrid Mining School collaborates closely with its counterparts in Latin America. The mining engineer should take advantage of the technological innovations and scientific advances pertinent to his field and apply them to new objectives that are already arising in a not-so-distant future, such as the exploitation of minerals in the sea, in the seabed and in sea water through liquefaction or robotics, large-scale underground and submarine infrastructure projects, mining in outer space, the economical use of the earth for the storage of substances or the destruction of waste materials, medium and high enthalpy geothermal energy projects, the collection of metallic minerals through the use of thermal plasma or biotechnologies, the development of new materials based on ceramics, metals, or a mixture of the two, or the recycling and use of waste or discarded materials. A person's cultural education is thus a vital means to achieving a wide spectrum of objectives if we want to train technicians who in their professional life know how to join their technological abilities with their human abilities, their leadership abilities with their social abilities, and thus proceed from our brilliant past to our bright, logical, and promising future. The education of a mining engineer should bring together science and nature in a balanced way. For that reason, it will always be one of the most valuable educational and humanistic areas of study among the technological professions. Progress has imprinted on our time the trace of technological developments created by man through study and research, and our knowledge belongs to the world. We must take care of natural resources with technology. The Polytechnic University of Madrid plays an important role in the development of mankind. In a solemn act held at the university, His Highness Prince Don Felipe de Borbon said, At the core of any progress, we will always find men whose intelligence and tenacity help mankind to control history and the future. <laughs>